If you are not a fan of zombies and don't want vampires, don't worry because Todd Sheets has you covered. <laughs> Dominion. This 1992 horror film is the seventh Todd Sheets movie I've ever seen. The plot. Ever since her little brother went missing when she was but a mere youth, Elizabeth, played by Carol Barta, has been trying to convince everyone that one night she saw him hovering outside her window. Now, after a dozen or so victims that have been dried of blood are discovered, the police department gets involved. Meanwhile, a band that is supporting a cult of vampires is preparing for an evil force's second coming. Led by Elizabeth's brother, Cable, played by Stefan Helt, and his spawn, they are ready to remind us what to bite in the night. I had a lot of fun with this one. The characters are likable and decently acted, the production value has its plus sides, and the action sequences are ridiculous but oh so entertaining. We even get some decent feasting scenes where the vampires act like zombies. Each actor and actress really tries to make each scene they're in serious, and that could be a detriment, but there's a charm to it for sure. Even though most of the acting is painfully bad, there are a few decent performances that shine through. From the passable acting department, we get to the police force and Stefan Hilt. The kid actor is bad, but he's hamming it up with a very self-aware nature. With fog machines and decent lighting galore, this film knows how to set a decent atmosphere. The opening with Cable outside the window beckoning for his sister to come over is cheesy, yet it has a hint of an unsettling nature. It pays homage to Salem's lot in a poor way, but that is why it works. Reading the plot for this movie, I figured it'd be a vampire on the road kind of film. It soon took me by surprise with its chilling, cheesy opening and story that does take place. The scene where the band plays in an auditorium was hilarious, though. It's one of those scenes where you'd figure that one of the actors would watch it again years later and feel embarrassed. However, seeing the cast have such a great time with each movie they make with Todd Sheets, I had to say they'd relish in the cheesiness of it all even years later. That's a given with all of Todd Sheets' films. They have heart, ambition, and ingenuity. And that does shine on screen. While it does have horror elements, this does feel like a comedy was attempted, and even some of the jokes land. Like when a character looks into her cosmetic mirror while complaining about wanting to do something about her pale complexion, yet she can't see herself in the mirror because she's a vampire, so she tosses it away. Why she'd even have a cosmetic mirror, I don't know, but I digress. The gore, the effects, not too gory, but there is some flesh ripping and bloody bites. The special makeup effects are not too shabby either. That has come to be expected with Todd Sheets' work, though. The motion picture soundtrack, top-notch music from Notch and Key and Matthew Jason Walsh. Notch and Key has done some great work with Todd. I really enjoy the themes he brings, and this one is no exception. I really enjoyed Dominion, much more than I thought I would. Yet again, there was some doubt as to if it'd work. Todd Sheets directing a vampire movie seemed too out of character for him, but he pulled it off. The question that probably got this movie made was, how do we make an evil music-based movie with the zombies? And then with them coming to the conclusion that they couldn't without making the zombies talk and operate like people, they came to the next best solution. Motherfucking vampires. Even though we don't see many vampires that bear fangs, if any at all. Still, with fun characters, acting, gore, music, and genuinely charming atmosphere, I feel comfortable saying that overall I give Dominion a 3 out of 5. Lion Brian Gatto, host of Horror Show Entertainment. Make sure to like my Facebook page and the description below to comment and subscribe.